I am using 3mm acrylic sheet for the bed holder that holds the heat bed uh, due to my limitations uh, for the my laser machine I am unable to cut the aluminum sheet hence we are using 3mm acrylic sheet Here we completed this pattern already which is shown in the previous. So next is bed assembly. So for this we used 3mm acrylic sheet. The cutting file is uploaded. You can so download and you can use the CNC or laser anchor to cut the 3mm acrylic sheet. You can use 5mm thickness also. So I am using 3mm right now. Okay. For this. We have to install three numbers of bearing and one welt holder. Like this, is to install. Next, we have to use the bearing. To hold this bearing, I am using the tag, press cable tag, so it holds in its position perfectly, ok. Similarly, we have to install another two numbers, all three bearings are inserted and the belt order also come installed So our bed assembly is complete. So the next step is I have to install the belt. So that complete assembly of bed. Okay. So next we are going to assemble the Arduino with the ramps. So this is Arduino Mega and this is the ramps. So have to correctly plug this ramps. So after that we have to install the stepper motor drivers see this potentiometer is there potentiometer is there it should be on the right hand side means left hand side is the USB and I have to install like this ok so X then Y then 
then z right for z we have two motors for the same um, like you can see for the z there is two ports so for each uh, motor we can connect so this is how we install the stepper drivers for this stepper drivers they give a small heat sinks put over the IC make sure it should not touch any comp conductive material similarly display so two ribbon wires for this display uh, chd1 is a marked as chd1 smart adapter so the chd1 goes to the xp1 and second one is second so we connect the also next for x y it okay so make sure that uh, this wrap wrap limit switch should not connect in the reverse otherwise board will burn this positive negative and the signal so here you can see x y minus z minus it is written have to connect over there so I have to connect this one is first X then Y and Z make sure the green wire is on the top side that is signal wire otherwise your Arduino board will burn off so all three sensors connected next the stepper motors so I am connecting so this is my extruder I am going to connect like this that is E naught next then X axis Axis, Z axis, two number for the Z. What we are using now for the two cables I am using. So our connection for the motors and the sensors on the display is completed. Let's test run by programming this Arduino using Marlin's open source firmware. After that, we connect the extruder part, extruder part, and start first test print.